Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back to uh, sort of the latest uh, episode uh, in uh, regards of our promotions, you know. So we, we had to promote him, mate. I think that we, just, we, we tried everything we could to stop him to get this job, but uh, it was just too good, I think. I know, and very demanding as well. Everybody else did this in pairs. Joseph is the only one that insisted on his own video. He's, he's the only show. He, got, he brought his own makeup crew. <laughs> He brought, you know, lighting, you know, everything. So we his had entourage. To, he's got his entourage. An entourage. <laughs> we had to bend to his demands, and um, you know, you're going to see that video right now. That, that's, I think, one of the top biller demands. I think. Uh, do you think his ego is getting to him? I think so, but you know, for now, we'll uh, we'll deal with it. I go by many names. Some people call me Yusuf, some people call me Joe, uh, but Joseph Kwok for you. Uh, <laughs> could be disputed, I'm not sure. There's Derek now. <laughs> yes. Still competing for that title though. No. So joining Cornerstone was definitely a natural move for me. I joined the right place at the right time. Our Cornerstone values our lines with my personal values perfectly, in that there's integrity, we do what we say, there's hard work, we celebrate success, and most importantly, we always try to achieve some sort of betterness and add value to people's lives. I'm actually introverted, however, I could say that I'm maybe 60% introverted, 40% extroverted. I love meeting people and like seeing people become better versions of themselves. Good question. It's either my brother, my sister, or my mom, or maybe all of them. <laughs> so I'm not sure who was first. I technically catch up with them every single weekend, so it depends who answers the phone first, I guess. <laughs> yeah. uh, family oriented. Um, congratulations. We expected you would have done this a bit slower. <laughs> <laughs> my mother is very supportive. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I deserve it. <laughs> Worked hard for it and uh, this is one good thing about Cornerstone as mentioned. Uh, we do celebrate hard work and success. Uh, we worked really hard the last two years and thank God achieved success and with success comes promotions. Hopefully more to go. <laughs> okay, interesting. Self-care routine. And my self-care language, I think I'd say, would be quality time, if you know, you know. Uh, so I spend a lot of time, usually during the weekends, with my family and closest friends. So I have to catch up with them. Sort of like energizes me, charges up the battery again, and back to work the next week. when you meet, let's say, a client, and the client has a problem in a specific department, in my case, either the legal department or the HR department or the back office department. Meet them for a meeting, uh, come up with a solution, or give them advice as to how to restructure the department or what to bring in. And what I love is, let's say, fast forward a few months later on, and the client reaches out to you and thanks you for actually helping them uh, solve any problem that they had in that case. So I really like that. We try very hard not to be like administration, just admins like sending CVs or something. So we try to advise, we try to consult, uh, even acting as shrinks at times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times. <laughs> So there's this theory called the butterfly effect, where a small change can actually cause really huge differences along the line. Uh, in recruitment, we see this all the time. Uh, you make a small change in a company or in somebody's life and it multiplies, uh, becomes much better in the near future. So this was quite surprising. We hear about it, but when you actually see it happening and unfolds uh, in a positive way, of course, then that becomes beautiful. Mm. It's a good question. So I think with life there's always progression, right? Trying to be a better version of yourself. I uh, think I am 
just started my journey. And the next step will be to build a team, a very successful team company-wise. And I also want to sort of like build up and train up very successful people as well. Uh, not just for work, but also in their personal lives. Uh, for now, uh, the first person under me will be Sam. And let's see how Sam progresses. Hopefully he'll be very successful in the coming months. I think no man is a mountain, right? Uh, for you to be successful, you need a lot of uh, people or pillars to actually assist you and guide you through the process. And I think I'm starting to reach a situation where I can start being a pillar. So hopefully I can hold a team of 10, 15, 20 people very soon. Hey guys, we're back. We don't usually appear at the end of these videos. <laughs> yeah. We are on this one. Um, we actually got a, a pretty big video in the works, right? Yeah. We have a um, very famous Japanese celebrity yep. um, for an upcoming video that we're going to be eating hot wings with. We're yep. following the trend of, uh, of YouTubers around the world. We're not quite up to Mr. Beast's level yet. No, but know, I think uh, a lot of that, people... You know I, I know Mr. Beast. I, know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people will enjoy seeing suffering and yeah. eating those hot wings. I think so. It's going to be a big video. I think it's going to get a lot of views, so uh, stay tuned. And the right comments, right comment to see who's going to win. Yeah. Who do you think is the favorite to win the competition? And your guess on who's going to be the celebrity as well. Yeah, who's yeah, going yeah. to be this mysterious celebrity appearing on our channel? Let's see.